Now all new at 5.30, an ambulance that's doing more than transporting patients. It's raising awareness about a potentially devastating disease that actually affects one in seven Virginians. Yeah, the ambulance itself is one of a kind, and so is the person it's named after. I sat down with him and his family to learn about the man and the message. You won't see another ambulance like this anywhere else in the country. I got my name, Pee Wee. Anthony Pee Wee Wilson's name is emblazoned on the door of this sleek Mercedes because he, like the vehicle, is destined to drive a message across Hampton Roads. I'm just here to uh, be an advocate for diabetes because it's, you know, it's a lot of people undiagnosed. He was one of them. Four years ago, this family man nearly lost his life. The day before, he was um, gray and he had dark circles around his eyes and he just didn't look good to me. The doctor told her had I not had she not taken me to the hospital when she got home, I'd have been dead. Wilson's body had shut down. They shocked his heart twice. His blood sugar was 1098. A normal fasting sugar is below 100. You could definitely tell he was living day to day. You just didn't know what was going to happen. Wilson, who's been working for medical transport 28 years, hadn't been diagnosed until that day. Never occurred to me, not at all. The American Diabetes Association estimates 207,000 Virginians have diabetes and don't know it, which puts their health at risk for serious complications, including heart disease, stroke, amputation, kidney disease, blindness, and death. The ADA and Wilson hope this ambulance, with all of its signage, will catch some eyes and motivate some to get a test. If I can just save one person awareness just for one person, I think my job's done. Santeros Medical Transport hopes to have another ambulance dedicated to diabetes by the end of the year. They also have four pink ambulances named for employees or employees' loved ones who have experienced breast cancer.